Creating a straight curtain wall is very easy in Revit. But if you want to customize your curtain wall and make some inclined mullions, you have to follow this video. You have to go to walls and click on wall architecture. Then you have to click on this drop down and in the bottom you can find curtain wall, exterior glazing and storefront. So in this video we are talking about the curtain walls. First of all click on this curtain wall and let's make a straight curtain wall. Let's make it 5 meter. Now go to front view and as you can see this curtain wall is created. So we need to create some constraints which is the base constraint is to be the level 1 and top constraint to be the level 2. Now we have to modify our curtain wall. So there are several ways to modify the curtain wall. Let's talk about them one, one by one. So in order to change the size of curtain wall or the length of curtain wall, you have to click on this triangle and then move it further and this will increase the length of the curtain wall. And if you want to increase the height, you have to use these arrows from top and bottom. But if you want to create a customized curtain wall, you have to click on edit profile and then you can you can edit these lines. For example, if I move this pivot point further and remove constraints and I will join this these two lines using trim tool and then also remove this line up further and then remove constraints and using trim tools I can create a skewed curtain wall and then click on finish edit mode. The length of curtain wall is changed but the size and the shape of curtain wall is changed as per our customized size. After that go to level 1 and if we click on this wall as you can see our wall is up to this point at level 1 but the pivot point is the further away. So in here, if you want to change the orientation of curtain wall, you have to click these two arrows saying the change, change walls orientation. So this will change the exterior or interior position of curtain wall. Once you click, it will shuffle to the other side. Now as you can see that in 3D view we have a curtain wall but we do not have any grids to attach the mullions. So in order to attach the grids and mullions we have to select this curtain wall and go to properties and click on edit type. In this area we can uh, lay out the vertical grid and the horizontal grid. The layout of vertical grid to be the fixed distance and the layout of horizontal grid is to be the fixed distance. You can change it to the fixed number or maximum spacing and give the input. So let's click on fixed number and then click on apply and OK. Uh, this will create a grid on the curtain wall which is uh, a fixed distance or the fixed numbers. So if you want to change the numbers you have to select this wall and then in this area of vertical grid numbers can be changed like for example I, I write 9 numbers for vertical so this will increase the grids of the vertical lines. Now if you want to change the orientation or the uh, alignment of these grids you have to select the curtain wall and then you, if you see carefully we have a mesh saying configure grid layout we have to click this one and this will open up the properties of the skew angle of the grid lines so the first option this option 
it is it's saying that the from the first origin point the distance of first grid line you can change the offset or if you want to change the orientation or the alignment of grid lines you can change this angle let's change this angle suppose we make it 9 degree so this is this will change the angle to the other side so in order to align it with our shape we have to write minus 9 degree so this is almost same as our shape of wall now same for the other side this will change the alignment of the horizontal grids let's write 6 degrees and it will change the alignment of the horizontal grids now as we changed everything we, which we desired to, to make as our curtain wall we have to go to 3d view and you can see our curtain wall with grids are, is ready now if you want to attach the mullions on these grid lines you just have to click on this wall and then go to properties and click on edit type after that we have to click on vertical mullions the interior type the border type and same for the horizontal mullions interior type and border type but i will tell you a simple method to change the mullions so click on cancel and then we will go to in the architecture tab in the build ribbon we will click mullions and for this one we have to we have to create three type of mullions we have lot of type of mullions in our our properties and we have the placement method we have grid line placement grid line segment placement and all grid lines so we will check one by one so in order to place the mullions on border we will select the the big size big size of mullion and then click on the grid line which we want to install we just have to click on the line also this one and also this one and also this one this will show some error that these are the slightly malformed mullions because we have just customized randomly so just ignore this error after that if you want to install the mullions on vertical grid lines we have to select the mullion type for verticals let's select this one and then click on the vertical grid lines so this will create the vertical mullions and after that if you want to create the mullions on the customized location as shown in this figure you just have to click on grid line and then select the mullion type for the horizontal location so we will select this 30 mm square and we will select the segment of the curtain wall and as you can see the mullions are placed So if you want to change the position and the and the alignment of mullions uh, automatically uh, so then go to properties and click on edit type and we have to select the mullion types from this area. So there are several types of mullions you just have to select which one you want to install on your curtain grid and then click on apply and ok. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.